cold right now to our north. We're a little bit chilly, but not really anything we can't handle. I think next weekend we have another big cool down, but in between we'll be warming up a lot. In fact, most days this coming week will be in the 70s. Not yet, though. We're in the 50s. It's been gray and cool and damp this weekend so far, but things may change during the day tomorrow as we'll eventually get some sun and we will be drying out. We're right now in the upper 40s and 50s, depending on where you look, and our radar is showing a few light showers around parts of uh, kind of the Plaquemines to Bell Chase and Biloxi Marsh areas. These are moving out of the way over to the east. However, even where it's not showing up on radar, there are sprinkles, there's a little bit of kind of fine mist out there, so it has just been sort of damp and gray today. We are going to see our slightly cooler air mass kind of shift to the east kind of subtly, and that will dry us out tonight and tomorrow. This front, the stationary one to our north, will not actually make it all the way into our area. We'll have to wait on another front uh, later. But looking at what's going on in the rest of the nation, look at this, the departure from the normal high. So average temperatures are already, of course, much colder to the north of us around the Midwest, but they are about 20 degrees lower than their uh, normal temperatures. You can see Chicago at 7 degrees, Kansas City at 8 degrees right now. We have some negatives for some parts of uh, the Midwest, and it's looking really cold as we get into this week, too, with another big uh, cool down coming this coming weekend. For us, we're going to be on the fringes of that. We'll talk about it in a second, but models for us are still debating how much of the cold air we will get this far south. Wintry precipitation doesn't look like it at this point. It looks like any rain that we we'll get Thursday into Friday, uh, because that's when our next front will be moving in, will probably finish well before we get the really cold air. Tomorrow, though, dry and cool with some sun coming out, something we haven't seen in a little bit, warmer most of this week, and then the front will be Thursday into Friday. Tonight, temperatures will be in the 40s, so you'll wake up tomorrow morning starting off somewhat chilly in the 40s, but dry, and we're not expecting this kind of damp, uh, showery sort of situation tonight or tomorrow. Eventually, we'll be drying out tonight and tomorrow looking for clearing skies and our temperatures around 59, maybe touching 60 for the afternoon. So here it is, our Super Bowl Sunday forecast, and you can see the evening time frame will be in the 50s and we'll start the day with clouds, but we should eventually see that drier air work in and we will get the sunshine. So let me show you with our forecast model. I've started it at 11 p.m. tonight and then we'll fast forward to tomorrow morning. You can see maybe even the clouds breaking up earlier in the day. Temperatures at 8 a.m. in the mainly 40s, so even in New Orleans, kind of chilly around 49 or 50 by then. Fast forward to noon, though, the clouds are beginning to break up for sure by then, I think. Temperatures will be in the 50s, and then late in the day, we should eventually get mostly clear skies and our temperatures by 5.30, so kickoff time if you are watching that game. Uh, here on uh, Channel 4, by the way, we'll be around 56 in New Orleans after the game, closer to about 50 for New Orleans and 40s north of the lake. Here's the cold air as we get into the rest of this week and into next weekend. I paused it next weekend, Saturday into Sunday, and we will be on the fringes of some very cold air. Of course, most of the kind of core of the coldest air will stay to the north, but we are seeing the potential for it to kind of scrape south Louisiana and then uh, probably retreat farther to the north. So as we move into this weekend, it looks like Saturday and into Sunday might be quite cold. In fact, our six to 10 day temperature outlook is colder than average for sure farther to the north and even including our area. So our average high right now is 64, average low in the middle 40s, so we might be a good bit below that. However, I do just want to point out the models are differing not only in the timing of the rain. One has the rain mostly late Thursday, one has it lingering or waiting until Friday, but also with how cold it will get. So there's a big spread, but we are looking for, you know, several days out eventually to get some clarity on it as we get a little bit closer. So just looking out to next weekend for now, we'll say maybe a freeze north of the lake for Saturday morning, possibly close to freezing on the South Shore. At least some models have below those temperatures that I put there. Some have it above. So this is very much a thing where we're just going to have to get a little bit closer to get a better, better handle on it. Saturday does look chilly. It looks like we'll be drying out probably uh, perhaps early in the day on Friday. Again, we'll see whether it lags till Friday more as the rain event or late Thursday and Tuesday and Wednesday. We could have a couple of showers, but really mostly quiet and kind of warm spring like sort of weather for the first part of the week until that weekend cool down.